you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a brand new guarantee flashback SBC. Now EA released a non-repeatable flashback guaranteed pack which basically gives you any flashback player any flashback player you could possibly get sorry i've got a mouth also so i'm going to be saying words a little bit strangely today i do apologize but it contains one flashback player released from october to march 2019 there's a lot of good players in there there's ebra there's vidal who's fantastic juan fran's pretty decent um i don't think podolsky counts because podolsky was released in april uh, but there's a lot of good plays. In fact, there is a picture I'm going to go grab now. I can't speak today. I apologize. These are all the possible plays you can get. So we can get Ibra, Fernando Torres, David Villa, Cassias, Company, Dani Alves, Tevez, Rooney, Payet, De Rossi, Huntlar, David Luiz, Vidal, Sturridge, Alexander Pato, Podolski, Juan Fran, Goetze, Pedro, Hernandez, Boateng, Baines, Bradley, Esvine, Dumbia, Nani, and Martinez. So... We have got one ready to open here. I'm going to open up a couple in this video and hopefully we can get something good. This one is on Tommy's account. Let's quickly have a look and see if Tommy has any flashback players in the club already. If we go quality, special, and then untradeable items. Has he got any flashbacks already? So he hasn't got he hasn't got flashback Ebra. In fact, he has got no flashbacks in the club. Okay, so this could be good for him. Hopefully, we get him a good one. Let's waste no more time and open up the first one and see who we can get. Come on, EA. Show us a big card, please. Give Tommy a good flashback card, please, EA. Let's go. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to be English striker. It's Daniel Sturridge. That is a great one. That is actually really, really good. That is a really sick card, to be fair. Out of all the flashbacks we could have possibly got, there's a lot of bad ones in there, so that is a good one. That is a really good one to get. And I play this card all the time in, like, champs and rivals and stuff, and it is actually unreal. It's so good. He's got a wicked left foot. Uh, he wins a lot of headers, and he's just a really decent card all around. So that is a good one to get, to be fair. Uh, I don't actually know what kind of team Tommy's rocking. Will it fit in his team? Will it fit? It actually won't fit in his team. Damn, that's actually disappointing. It won't fit in his team, but it's a sick card nonetheless and could possibly be built around. So, you know what? In my opinion, that was worth it. Let's go and open another. Okay, so now we're on Peanut Boy's account and we're opening up Peanut Boy's uh, pack now. He's done it with uh, a lot of, uh, I'm guessing, untradeable players. Uh, I'm guessing there's a lot of untradeable players. That one's tradable, tradable uh tradable tradable okay a lot of these are probably actually tradable but at least larice is untradable makes it a lot cheaper um so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and open it i, I can't speak whatever i've got a little, i've got a tiny little loser there and it's bugging me every time i speak uh so i can't speak properly but let me quickly see who peanut boy has in terms of flashbacks in the club so again wait no these are loans okay all right um Again, no flashback Ebra. Wow, okay, that's surprising. A lot less people than I thought had flashback Ebra. I play this guy so much. Like, I play against Ebra so much in... We wow, he's actually got no flashbacks. Okay, that's surprising. Two people with no flashbacks. I am actually surprised at that. I play against flashbacks so much in Weekend League that I'm surprised, especially Ebra. Ebra's like the one I play against so much. But we're going to go ahead and submit this and hopefully get Peanut Boy as good as what we just got for Tommy. Um, in the flashback uh, storage. And then we're going to go ahead and open up one on... I've got an Xbox and a PlayStation account, so I'm going to try and open up one on each of those. Um, but I might only be able to do it on PlayStation because I don't know if I've got coins on Xbox. We'll have to see. But let's go ahead and open up this pack nonetheless and get it open and see what we can get. Come on, EA. Show us the money, please. Show us a big player. Come on, EA, please. Oh, uh, what am I about? Oh, it's a walkout. Of course it's a walkout. Come on. Show us Swedish. Spanish. Right back. Juan Fran's decent. Juan Fran is very decent, you know. That is a really good right back. That's actually pretty sick. Yo, I'll, I'll be happy with that. I'd be very happy with that. That is a good player to get. That is nice, man. That is a nice player to get. Four-star skills on the card. It's a decent right back. It's been people's go-to right back since the start of the game. Does it fit in Peanut Boy's team, though? That's the question. What kind of team is Peanut Boy using? It would fit in Peanut Boy's team. It's an upgrade from 86 Cancelo, in my opinion. So, that is a decent card. Decent fish into the team. Very good. I'd be happy with that if I was Peanut Boy. So, 
Let's go and see if my account is going to be any more lucky, I guess. I didn't realize that I would have enough coins on this account, but then I realized I had an 87 untradeable Hamshik, an 87 untradeable Lukaku, uh, an untradeable Sane and Fabinho on this account. So I was like, easy peasy. And we also have 100k back on this account that I totally forgot about as well. Um, so we've done the flashback player on this account. And not only that, but let me quickly show you my transfer list. This is the benefit of uh, of opening packs and then not touching your account for a while. I have a lot of coins in players on my transfer list from players with packs. So like, for example, 86 Naldo right now is currently extinct for 32.5k or, or almost extinct. Uh, Kimmich right now is currently extinct or almost extinct for 37.5k. Uh, Kadira right now is currently extinct for 17,000 coins. Koke right now is currently extinct for 22,000 coins. We've just made so many coins right now. Uh, this card is currently going for like 8k or something. We'll sell him. Mkhitaryan's currently going for like 8k right now. We'll sell him. Uh, Albiol's currently selling right now. He's extinct. We'll sell him. Barzagli right now. How much is he selling for? He's currently extinct. We'll sell him. We've got so many coins on this account. I didn't realize. So we'll go ahead and open up these packs and see if we can get anything good. We're going to start off with a 100k pack. Let's see if we can get something decent. We've got the new team of the week, of course. It's not going to be a walkout, though, so we don't really care. Any 85, though. An 85 currently sells for a bit, or an 84, so we'll take that. It's going to be an 84. Hey, I'm pretty sure DeVries sells for, like, 10,000 coins. So that is actually really decent. We'll take that. Let's see if he does. I think he does sell for, like, 10K. And Gundogan. I know Gundogan's selling for 10K, bro. I know it. Yep, 10,000 coins. Easy, right there. Now's the time. If you guys are looking at doing Icon SBCs, Get your 100k packs out now. Every like 84 is currently selling for so many coins, bro. So many coins. Even some 83s are selling, man. Even like David Luiz is 10,000 coins right now. It's crazy. Now we've got the flashback player on my Xbox account. This is my account. This is my Xbox account, although I don't really use it. The only flashback card I've got on this account is Juanfran. So we just don't want a Juanfran. Apart from that, anyone will be sick. Come on, EA. What are we going to get? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> there's no way. There's no way. There is no way, bro. <laughs> oh, this game. This game. This game, man. You just, you can't. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up. Are you kidding me? The only flashback I have on this account is Juanfran. And the one we get is Juanfran. I'm going to just leave it and sort it later. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. I'll figure out something to do. Yikes, EA. Yikes. Let's switch over to the PlayStation and see if we can get anything good on my main account. I don't have close to enough coins, so I'm hoping that opening up 11 of these Prime Gold Players Packs is going to get me enough coins, even though these are probably some of the worst packs in the game in terms of what you get from them like they are honestly awful but they're the only packs out right now so i'm gonna hope the discard value is gonna get me up close to to being able to afford some of these players now i know a lot of players are currently going for a lot of coins right now thank you to the, like this league sbc stuff so uh i'm gonna be selling all of the cards that i think are gonna be selling for quite a lot thank you to the league sbc uh, I think Fabianski might be going for a bit. No, he's not. Will Dante be going for a little bit? He's just come out of Team of the Week as well as Dante, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but I'm going to be selling all of these cards that I think are going to be going for a lot. So uh, hopefully we can make some coins back, and then I'm going to discard the rest of them because I don't really care. I'm just going to discard this for 4.4k, and hopefully we make enough coins to be able to buy the plays we need. I think we only need like 284s and an 87 which is difficult, but I think that's all we need. So we're trying to grind towards that with these uh, with these FIFA points right now. Um, Di Maria might help me out. Di Maria might help me out a lot, actually, in terms of uh, of of helping make some coins back. And David Luiz. I know David Luiz is currently going for a lot right now. He is currently expensive. So I'm going to sell David Luiz for 7k. Even though I know he probably goes for more, it's probably worth me just selling him for that. Di Maria is expensive as well. Di Maria is going for like 7k, so I'm going to list him up. In fact, I think Di Maria is going for like 8k, so I'll list Di Maria up for 8k. I think Xhaka is expensive right now as well. He's currently going for like 1,000 coins. I do have a few plays on the transfer list I can sell as well, so we'll sell those. Uh, don't think anyone else is selling here, so we'll discard those. Apologies if I discard someone that's selling for something, by the way. Uh, I don't know the market that well right now, but we're almost there actually already, so we've been pretty lucky so far. Um, there's a really bad Prime Gold Players pack. They're just, they're so 
inconsistent. It really irritates me, the Prime Gold Players Packs. They're, they're super inconsistent. Joaquin, are you selling? Yes, you are. Thank you. Yay. A lot of players are selling. So, I'm going to go ahead and open up some more packs. If I get a walkout or something, then uh, then you guys will see it. If not, then I'm just going to... Uh, I'll just report back when we've... Oh, actually, hang on. It's quite... Oh, no. Okay. I'll just report back when slash if we make... Uh, enough coins to open up one of these packs and uh, i'll see you guys then oh okay we just got kareem benzema i know he's selling for a lot he's like 15k right now we'll happily take that it's an 85 uh i've got like 2.6k thief points left so i'm just gonna grind through these and uh and see if we can get anything good the short sure sells for a lot as well that was a really good pack right there uh i think thief points right now are actually quite worth it given how much everything is currently selling for you're gonna make a lot of coins back if you spend uh even just a small amount of thief points because literally everything's selling for at least a thousand coins so it's really easy coins right now Back to back 85s. Thank you very much. Falcao is currently going for about 15k as well. Well, he's currently going for about 17k, but if I want a quick sell, we're selling for 15k. We got uh Taliso in there as well, who I'm gonna list up. Uh has we got anything else in there that's gonna sell? Uh Hugo Mallow. Bro, we are raking the coins in right now. This is beautiful. Last one. This will make it 11. Uh, we've not had a walkout so far. And we're not going to get a walkout, sadly, in 11 Prime Gold Players packs. EA needs to really, I don't know, make these packs a little bit more worth it. Now, the reason I say that is because if it wasn't, if the, the market wasn't in the current state it's in, which is just a really ridiculous state with the league SBCs, if it wasn't in this current state, I would probably have made about 35 to 40k from these packs, probably something like that, because a lot of these players would literally just be discard. Um, you know, you wouldn't be getting Christensen going for like 1.8k or something. You wouldn't be getting any of these cards going for as much as they do. They'd all be discard. So I probably would have made about 40ish k, something like that. So EA, in my opinion, needs to, to buff packs in general, but especially try and go players packs because they just, I don't know, they're just not that worth it, to be honest. Like, 600 thief points is a lot for such a bad pack. Um, as you see there, like, look at this pack. This pack is arguably better than some of the Prime Gold Place packs I've got. We've got an Anchor, we've got a Camp to Center Ford, we've got a 1,000 coins. Uh, James Madison, who sold, we've got some consumables and stuff like that. So, that's just my opinion anyway. Regardless, let's go ahead and build this pack and get myself a um, get myself a flashback card. I just had to pay 10,000 coins for Bottas Agli and 9.6k for Illyramendi and then, like, 50k for pk and like 40k for parejo probably not worth it but this is the team i'm submitting this is an untradeable pulisic this is an untradeable james collins who i just don't care for i mean he's got an amazing looking card but it will personally be never used by me i just won't be using it so i'm going to submit it uh but this is the team a lot of these are untradeable as well so we'll go ahead and submit it and it doesn't even have the chemistry what am i doing well looks like i'm not using james collins in fact i'm going to be is, wait, I don't think, is his name even james collins Oh, God, it's going to be embarrassing if it's not. Yeah, it is. It's James Collins. Looks like I'm not going to be using him. I'm going to be paying <laughs> 20,000 coins for a Danny Carvajal just to get the uh, the chemistry. This better be worth it, EA. This better be worth it. I hope I get something good from this because I've just wasted about 150K that I could have submitted into Eusebio. I know, pretty stupid on my part. It, it can't, I can't even get angry because it was my own fault. I probably shouldn't have done that. But here we go. Flashback player. Come on, EA, please. Give me one. Uh, the only two I've got currently... Ibra and David Luiz. So anyone else would be nice. Anyone else that isn't them two would be nice. Come on, EA. Please. Come on. German. Center forward Podolski. No. Okay, Gertz. <laughs> Podolski's not even in it, and I thought it was Podolski. Um, don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm happy with that or not, to be honest. I mean... I don't remember how much uh, Goethe was when he first came out. Not, not sure if I really am that. I'm too bothered about this. I might, this might just be SBC fodder for me. What's it? Yeah, I just I can't get behind using a card like this. Unfortunately, I mean it's not a bad looking base card, uh, face card stats, but the rest of it is just pretty pretty poo. But apart from that, that is it for the video. If you have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.